The Koi Lady Channel is pleased to have you back. Dear everyone, this sort of thing happens all the time, even in bull markets, so let's speak about what's been going on with cryptocurrency prices recently, specifically, the previous 24 to 48 hours. This range of possible outcomes, including negative ones. What really gets people rattled is this kind of volatility, it stays within a specific range, but it lasts for months at a time. After enough lettuce hands have been shaken out of the market, the price will begin to rise again since there will be no more lettuce hands to sell. Everyone is guessing, and I don't see this being any different. If we're talking probabilities, though, I can give you the heads up from a few XRP chart analysts, one of whom basically says the same thing that happened in the past. I must admit, I share the sentiment. It's not necessary to be an expert in charts to reason that that is, in fact, the most profitable option. This asset class clearly moves in tandem. A tangled web encircles XRP. You can guarantee that XRP will shock and amaze everyone if we see genuine growth, particularly in the altcoin space. It will be really amazing. Just so we're clear, I don't come from a financial family or anything. Please do not base your investment decisions on my recommendations, I am not a financial advisor. As a hobby and for fun, I enjoy making films on YouTube regarding crypto-related subjects, I'm just an enthusiast. Okay, since my last video ended up being longer than I had planned, I will do my best to keep this one brief. It was well worth the 25 minutes I think it was, nevertheless, I am currently working with slightly less time than I had planned. I was discussing the most recent developments in the SECV Ripple case in my last video. Along with these, these assumptions, I suppose, these anticipations that, according to a new SEC document submitted to Court Torres, this suggests that SEC and Ripple are likely to resolve their dispute for $102.6 million. Thousand dollars short of the $2 billion that the SEC has been representing to Judge Torres as their true desire. Also, I disproved it to pieces. The fact that some influential people still believe that, even when it's obvious that's not the case, baffles me. I hope you'll take the time to see the concluding video. For this one, though, I will do my best to keep things brief and pleasant. The price of XRP is 48 cents right now. Bitcoin price, 66,355. Bucks. A 74 out of 100 green index and crypto anxiety. Just so you know, things aren't that horrible, even with all the volatility. Bitcoin's 7-day chart is this, looking at the 24-hour chart, you can see that it's very volatile, dropping as low as $65,310. That makes sense to me. In light of the fact that Bitcoin has been hovering around $70,000 as of late, this is frightening to many. I understand. Since XRP follows the market, it suffered a serious battering. There isn't necessarily an issue with XRP has risen somewhat from its 46 cent low. Presented, here is a chart that spans 7 days. Take a look at this 24 hour chart. However, I am completely unaffected by the bad emotion that has been expressed on social media site X personally, I'm anticipating people. Biological robots is all we are. In essence, I anticipate that they will maintain their current course of action, which is consistent with what we have witnessed in past market cycles. Everything from genetics to character quirks is identical. All of these people still have it. I hope this is what you were expecting. I will not behave in that way, since I am simply aware of that. Here is a post from a chart analyst named Rect Proof. Credible Crypto one of my favorite analysts, reposted it and said, let's effing go wrecked proof on Team Bulla, referring to one of the platform's most composed traders and someone from whom I have learned a lot simply by watching his tweets. By the way, I was already following him before I realized I might have featured him on my channel. His popularity belies the fact that I follow a large number of people, nonetheless, not all of their posts appear in my feeds. About 243,700 randals. Admirers, and even if I didn't, I'd still be impressed, after all, you're teaching crypto to everyone, right, because reputable crypto claims I learned from him. It is quite interesting to observe that. 
I was wondering, what on earth is he talking about, with some curiosity. In fact, he was basically criticizing this most recent move, I won't bore you with his whole thread, because time is of the essence. What transpired was consistent with his scribbled predictions, and he made them as far back as May 30th in a post. People, it's amazing to see that this stuff happens, even in bull markets. That means this is the most stable bull market this asset class has ever seen. Along with every next one. You should anticipate it to be true in a bull market, and the increased investment is easy to fathom. So, it's more difficult to influence markets when there's a lot more money involved, and there was definitely a lot more mania a decade ago. Another piece from chart analyst Ali Martinez is this one. According to him, Bitcoin must once again rise beyond $66,254, promptly to forestall a possible decline to $61,100. Not long ago, in the evening, he uploaded that. At this very moment, it is far beyond that $66,339 mark. According to him, that's the level to keep an eye on, and it's still unclear if there will be another shakeout in the opposite direction. Some degree of disagreement exists. So, basically, analysts are just suggesting to toss a coin. At least that's my interpretation of it. But. Because it has no bearing on the outcome in the grand scheme of things, it is irrelevant. Bull run has not been damaged. In the near term, that is all we are discussing. Where the ambiguity lies is at that point. Kyung Ju has this post up here. At CryptoQuant, he serves as both founder and CEO. You can get a better sense of human behavior by analyzing this chart, which shows the entrance price for Bitcoin traders. I find it fascinating. Considering that the place you purchase from. In other words, if the price is significantly lower than it is right now. Perhaps you wouldn't be scared if you could dive quite a bit. However, many become scared when they purchase recently and then there is a significant decline. Everything is relative, isn't it? When finances slip into the red, it makes people feel bad. The average entry price for Bitcoin traders is $47,000, as he noted here. Even if the price of Bitcoin drops 27%, it would still be called a bull market because the price often remains higher than the trader's entry price. Have a long-term positive outlook, but don't put yourself in danger. He correctly claims that this is financial advice, so I guess we can take his word for it. Using leverage is bad for nearly every single person on the earth, as is taking unnecessary risks, spending more than you can afford to lose in case you're incorrect, and so on. A disproportionate number of people utilize that. However, the following is what the crowd is saying in response to Bitcoin's decline to $65,000, according to a post by a chain analytics firm. Dropped to its lowest point since May 16th. Following a decline, there is often an uptick in discussions about selling or taking profits, and if we observe persistent fear, uncertainty, and panic among smaller traders, we may be able to discern a brief uptick in buying opportunities. It is true that the tiny traders and ordinary retail speculators are the ones who propel this market. I am incredibly grateful for their existence. Thankfully, their behavioral profile doesn't apply to me. I'm glad I am not that, I suppose. The volatility is caused by their utterly absurd, illogical, and careless decisions, but I'm grateful that they exist. The point of investing is to profit from volatility. I mean, would you be interested in putting your money into something that doesn't accomplish anything once you put it in? I don't think investing is supposed to be about volatility, and they are the dumbass that make it worse. I am deeply grateful. Jelly, a chart analyst, has written this post. For those who have been here for longer than 5 seconds, this is merely the groundwork. Their outlook is consistent with this, so you can anticipate it from them. Based on this perspective, it seems that Bitcoin's price has risen significantly in the past, therefore it's hard to believe that this time is different. Put the having stuff aside for a second, I still don't think it matters much, and I welcome civil disagreement. No problem. Whatever the case may be, we are still in the midst of liquidity cycles that are similar to, but not identical to, the four-year cycle, this implies that the cycle will begin sooner rather than later. 
wait Hevs, I get it. In any case, I concur with the last line of that difficult time believing, this time is different. The video ends there. Support my channel with a like and a subscription. Muchas gracias, depart.